Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's episode of Art History Minute, I thought it would be fun to give it a bit of a Halloween twist. A big component of this holiday are masks. So what could be more fitting than the mask of Agamemnon? This Mycenaean masterpiece is a testament to the culture's metalworking skills. To find out more, then keep on watching. In 1876, Heinrich Schliemann discovered a golden mask at the center of the ancient city of Mycenae. Believing he had found the grave of the legendary Agamemnon, he decided that it was his funeral mask. This piece was created out of a single golden sheet that was hammered against a piece of wood. Once the desired shape had been achieved, details would have been incised with a sharp tool. The fine craftsmanship and materials indicate that this mask was made for a very wealthy individual. However, it was unlikely that it actually did belong to King Agamemnon, because the mask dates from around 1600 BCE, about 300 years before for the Trojan Wars. In modern times, there have been some question about the authenticity of the mask. It is a known fact that Schliemann salted his find to make them appear more impressive and secure more funding for his projects. Another argument that it appears too detailed and intricate to belong in this particular grave. The other goods that were found did not have the same level of craftsmanship. Despite these arguments, most art historians believe that it is an authentic piece of Mycenaean art, maybe just moved to the wrong place. Regardless of the questions and confusion surrounding this piece, it is clear that it is a masterpiece of metalwork. The Mycenaean culture is a mysterious one, so we have to learn what we can from the living.